president rolls out his proposal for immigration reform. The Caroline Shively has more from Washington. Even with Congress out on recess for Columbus Day break, reaction came pouring in from lawmakers responding to the president's latest proposal to reform immigration. In a conference call, the Congressional Hispanic Caucus criticized the president's plan, saying his list of demands tying border wall funding to protection for dreamers goes too far. This is why a Clean Dream Act is so important because they push you to a place that you've already publicly said you won't go because you know it's a flawed, poor, unproductive policy, and it's immoral. Democratic leaders Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi echoed the caucus's criticism, saying the plan is beyond what is reasonable. I think it's highly unlikely that there's going to be enough support for something with these kind of demands and hardline stances. But yet some Republicans say the president's plan brings the party one step closer to fulfilling their long-held campaign promise for stronger border security. We should know the people that are here and their intentions. We should have secure borders. All of this, that uh, the 70-point plan that the president has suggested, is a negotiation. It's a start of comprehensive immigration reform. The White House, meantime, worked to defend the president's hardline immigration priorities. The message to the dreamers is that listen to what the president says. He says he's open to a deal, open to figuring out a way um, to, to have a broader immigration policy that certainly addresses DACA.